Hey everyone, it's Scare. Today we're going to be doing a localhost Canon test server tutorial. So this will be free. And it will be localhost, so the server will be running on your computer. First of all, you want to download this RAW file, which is in the description below. And drag it to your desktop. If you don't have WinRAR already, I'll leave a download to that in the description as well. Then you want to create a folder, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Canon Test Server. Then you want to open it up. Then open up the RAW file. And then what you want to do is drag the Tarko Spigot jar file. Then double click it once it's in there. And I should generate some files and folders. Once that is done, right click the eula.txt and go edit. And you're going to change the false to true. You go file, save. Then you want to drag your start.bat file in there. This is the file that's going to basically stop and start your server. So now right, right click, then click edit. And you're going to see two numbers, 2048 and 2048. These numbers represent how much RAM you have allocated to the server. So, tw so this is in megabytes by the way. So this will be about 2 gigabytes of RAM. If you want 4 gigabytes of RAM, you can type 4096. If you want 1 gigabyte of RAM, you can type in 1024, etc. We're just going to leave it at 2048 for now. Then once that's in there, you want to run this start.batch file. And this CMD will open up and I'll start generating all the files for the server and folders, as you can see here. Now it's preparing the spawn area and wait till it says time in reset. Okay, now that it's said that, you want to type in on the commander prompt OP space, then your IGN. So for me, it's scare. Then you should get a little pop up saying opt, then your IGN. Once it says that, just type in stop. Then press any key. Then you're going to go into your RAW file again. And then you want to hold control, click taco.yml, spigot.yml, server.properties, and paper.yml. Then, and the plugins folder. Then, you want to drag these into the folder. And then click replace the files in the destination. So these configurations um, are optimized for Canon in, so Canon in should work. And we've also dragged our plugins in there. So these are all our plugins. And then now, we just want to run start again. So it's going to reload with the new configurations and the new plugins. Once there's time in 3C, you're going to type in a stop again. And then go to your plugins folder, TNT protection, right click config, and go open with notepad. You're going to change this protection lock from bedrock to uh, we'll go with coal block. Actually, we'll do 155, which is basically quartz. Click file, save. And then now, press the start batch file again, and it'll run the server again. Once that's done, you want to open up your Minecraft. Click direct connect. And now you want to type local host. This will be the server address that you always connect to and it'll be able to join this server. Click join server. Now I'm just going to just full screen it here. And now with the configs I provided you should automatically be able to fly and to kind of create you just go GMC. Now to test that cannons are working. See that it didn't hop side to side or anything like that. And now to, pre um, to test our protection plugin. So this is basically what's going to protect your cannons from blowing up when they're dry. So all you got to do is put coal under your cannon and it won't blow up. Nothing above it should be blown up. Oh, sorry, it was meant to be quartz, not coal. My mistake. So we'll just do, just to be quicker, we got the edit unloaded as well. 
then now if we put any other block above it, it won't blow it up. At all, not even TNT. So it's working for cannons, which is really good. Now, we're just going to test the cannon, just for proof. We're going to test a very complex cannon, actually. Vape, uh, one by one. Okay, here we go. Uh, Copy. Then we just want to go to add schematics. You're going to go to your cannon test server folder. Go plugins, world edit. Then right click, new folder, and then type schematics. Then we're just going to paste this schematic in, and it should automatically be loaded. So we're just going to copy the name just so it's easier to type. And then now we're going to do schematic load that name. We're going to go up a bit. Uh, we'll try here. Now we have it loaded in. Now, we're going to change this to. 155 which is quartz and we'll put it to over here it's water and everything but just to make sure and don't worry if there's creepers in your cannon don't worry about that it's not going to do anything because they can't blow anything up anyway um, but if you do want to change that it is in the world settings if you want to change it so mobs can't spawn so I'm going to do copy, I'm going to do slash DT100 TNT24. The 100 is the range, and 10, 24 is how much TNT has been put into every dispenser. So we're just going to type that in again. So it should refill everything. And we're going to turn off our hybrid, like that. And then now we're going to fire this. So this is basically going to mid-air stack. Alright, so now if we go slash speed 10, we go all the way this way, we should see uh, just one pillar of sand somewhere around here. There it is, so you can see it's slab, blast, slab blasted and stacked all the way like 255, as you can see with no problems whatsoever. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this like or host kind of test server tutorial. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, peace.